This monster is the highest, fastest looping steel roller coaster in the entire world. And at $7 million, it's the single most expensive attraction Great Adventures ever had. The Great American Scream Machine was the ride that saved Six Flags Great Adventure from going bankrupt. It was the evolution of Six Flags Great Adventure steel looping co roller coasters. Like today with the Green Lantern and Medusa. And while you have Rolling Thunder with the family dueling wooden roller coaster design that helped young kids get ready for the big thrills. Rolling Thunder was one of the most most famous roller coaster at Six Flags Great Adventure, and its success evolved into the best wooden roller coaster in the world, El Toro. Batman Robin the Chiller was one of the another dueling roller coasters, but it was launched, built by Premier Rides, with the theme of Batman and Robin, the new movie out at the time. The launch design evolved into the second fastest roller coaster in the world, King Dakka. While Lightning Loops was a launch shuttle loop coaster built by Aerodynamics and it changed Great Adventure because they made more steel roller coasters in the future like the Batman the Ride. Viper was a Togo Heartland roller coaster, but it was a rough ride. The upside down aspect led to the evolution of the Jersey Devil coaster success. However, prior to those years, they had Ultra Twister, the spinning pipeline roller coaster that was only in the park for four years. But the spinning aspect helped Six Flags Great Adventure in the way because they had the Joker back in 2016 and the Joker spins. And all these defunct rides I talked about, they all lead to success. You learn from your mistakes and you gain success from knowledge. That's what Six Flags Great Adventure has been doing for all these years, as you can tell. Even with these new rides, Nitro and Jersey Devil, they're going to have problems, but they'll have more success in the future with other rides too. It's going to keep happening. It's a cycle of the Six Flags Great Adventure cycle. That's what's happening right now. The engineers who build these rides like Togo, they had a lot of issues, but aerodynamics too, but they're good rides. They're good rides. They just keep getting better and better, like BM and Rocky Mountain Construction with the RMC coasters. They're all getting better. So you're gonna have a lot of evolution of these rides at Six Flags Great Adventure. Like I talked about in this video, I gave you the exact information and knowledge. So make sure you subscribe to get all the information you need about roller coasters and more.